Happy Saturday, everyone. I hope you're all enjoying a great start to your weekend and to April and felt the fiery energies of Aries um, in a positive way. And there is a lot going on in our skies these days and um, a lot of healing that's available to us through that. Um, in particular, we have Chiron, the wounded healer asteroid who is conjuncting the Sun and Mercury in Aries today. I personally have been doing a lot of work with my Chiron. My Chiron is in Aries, and so I'm here having my Chiron return currently. Um, and so I was guided to do a collective, what I expected to be a collective reading for Chiron and what we can learn from our own Chiron placements. Um, as I was meditating on it, however, um, it's, um, Spirit asked that I do a reading for the Divine Masculine Energies in relation to Chiron. So, this reading um, is for that, the Divine Masculine. Now, that is not gender specific. It is um, the energy, the masculine energy, which we all have. Um, so this is, are the cards that I pulled um, and I really was doing it for myself initially so I apologize for doing the pull off camera um, but then once these cards came out and the messages came through um, Spirit really really um, invited me to share this with you. So um, Um, I'm hesitating because I'm remembering a dream that I had last night <laughs> just now um, that interestingly enough was um, a conversation between myself and a person who definitely represents the divine masculine in my life in a lot of ways um, and in the dream he asked me to share a message with with y'all um, about forgiveness and we were discussing forgiveness and how um, freeing forgiveness is for ourselves um, and the, the relationship between forgiveness and taking responsibility for our own part in situations, relationships, experiences. Um, and how those two things together can really give, be empowering um, and be freeing um, and bring a lot of healing. So um, I guess that explains why I have these stones out because I was called to put these stones out as well. We have green tourmaline, which is a very grounding stone, a protective stone. We have rose quartz, which is... Um, a very healing stone in um, a loving, forgiving, compassionate, empathetic way. And then um, we have this, which is a, a rhodonite and moss agate cube. And um, kind of an unusual stone, at least for me. It's the first one I have seen like that. Um, in that combination and it feels to me to be the the perfect combination of these energies it's very grounding with the moss agate it's very earthy um it is very centered and yet it also embodies the the rhodonite which is a balanced heart energy and um healing with forgiveness and grace to self and to others um so with that said, now let's go to the reading. Um, so I started out, let me start by saying that these are the Dreams of Gaia tarot cards. I have the box out here. I'm not sure that you can see it, but um, I love this deck. It really, um, the messages I get from it have been profound so far. I've only used it for myself. Um, 
and a friend of mine, as a matter of fact, but just the two of us so far have used it um, or that I have pulled cards for. So now I'm introducing it to y'all. I hope you enjoy it. Now, some of the meanings are um, different from traditional Raider, uh, um, Rider Waite um, tarot meanings, however, interpretations, however, I tend to read the cards intuitively anyway, in addition to what the traditional meaning is. But with these cards, there are um, some differences um, from what you would see traditionally. So with that being said, um, the first card that came out was the Ten of Wands. And as you can see, it's very, very fiery, very uh, perfect for the immense amount of fire energy we have going on right now in um, in the collective and in our skies. Um, this card um, in, is the embodiment embodiment of self mastery, of um, speaking one speaking one's truth and embodying one's truth in your action, your being, in your chakras and your energy, having all of your chakras balanced. Um, and also um, being very keenly aware of the balance between one's own energy and the cosmos, um, as well as our the life force energies through spirit and through the animal realm. As you can see here, we have spirit animals along the side. We have the eagle, the bear, the horse, and the wolf represented along the side of the card. Um, so this feels like a, um, a full embodiment of all aspects of self and finding balance within that. Um, the second card that came out, I love the representation of the dragon and the aces in this deck, um, the Ace of Cups. And this felt really, and traditionally also, um, feels like a, a new beginning in, in relation to our emotions and to expressing our emotions. I feel so much truth in this card as I do with, you know, I think traditionally with the aces. However, um, intuitively that's um, what I'm feeling is the truth of one's emotions. And um, then on a side note in regards to truth, I'm, I was listening to music when I was pulling the cards originally and, and reading into them. And I wanted to share with y'all that the song that was playing um, was Rumble and Sway, and, um, oh, I can't remember the artist. I'll put it down in the, in the description, but if you want to look up that song, it was really the, the person singing the song is asking someone to lie to them, um, to tell them basically what they want to hear, that they don't want to hear the truth. They just, um, want to be told, um, what will be comforting, what will be secure, what will allow them to continue on the path they've been on and not face change. So that um, really, really resonated with this message because this is a new beginning in finding truth and in one's emotions and being able to speak that truth, being in a state of self-mastery where you can face the discomfort of doing that, knowing that you're backed by the universe, by your, by spirit, and have the fire within yourself to be able to move forward into that new space. And the next card that came out was the Father. Um, very grounded energy, very much planted in the energy of Mother Gaia as well. Um, but I felt that the Father moved quietly like the cougar does and takes decisive action um, only when necessary, not jumping into anything without assessing it and viewing it 
from an overall picture. He's very much contemplative in the image um, and resting. He's not ready for to just leap forward at this moment. So I really feel like it's indicative of taking a moment to pause and really consider where everything falls into play, all the repercussions, all the consequences, all um, the... I'm getting um, reciprocal actions. Um, so um, that was, I'm sorry, that was just coming to me, but the reciprocal actions of whatever action you may be considering. Um, but in addition to that, another alternative message that was really coming through was um, as we're looking at Chiron and how that wound has impacted us um, or has impacted the divine masculine, um, the potential need for reparenting of being one's own father, giving our inner child what um, what was needed or what is needed in this point in time in order to help heal that wound and also to approach approach these situations with the sense of self mastery being coming from a mature standpoint looking at the actions that we have taken that may be triggered by the Chiron wound and reevaluating that, taking the moment of pause to really reevaluate re how those actions have impacted our life and our uh, subsequent choices, and really coming from a mature standpoint, mature in our emotions. As the Queen of Water comes out, um, who is very compassionate and very much in tune with her emotions and um, prioritizes her emotions. And I really feel a sense of balance between the Father and the Queen of Cups. Um, and there's a lot of water energy here too, the need for the Divine Masculine to balance out as they do their, their chakras, the feminine aspects of their being as well. Um, and how that will allow them to more fully express their emotions, which aids in being in one's truth and integrity and um, not suppressing those things, allowing them to well up from the surface as she's flowing in the waters of her emotions. And I also noticed in three of these cards, we have the what felt like the all-seeing eye, um, it's represented here and here and here in the tree, um, that's behind the father. So taking the, I'm hearing now taking the, the higher viewpoint, um, in all of these instances and with these emotions and really allowing them to flow and, and, um, kind of stepping back from oneself, taking that pause to be able to integrate everything together to approach situations from a more mature standpoint, but one that does not discount the need for the emotionality and understanding what the emotions are teaching us, allowing us to have that new beginning, find that truth that's within our emotions and how they help teach us where we need the healing and how to move forward. Okay, so I hope that is helpful for you all. Um, enjoy the day. And um, if you're not familiar with Chiron, um, check out, um, there are some free natal charts available through different web services online check into where your placements are, and um, it's a very interesting component to the astrology. So have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you all soon.